So why do people die from extreme heat? Now, to answer that question, we first need to look at what high temperatures do to the human body. Now, the average human body temperature is about 36.5 degrees Celsius. Now, when the mercury rises above that, we start sweating, which helps the body stay cool. That water loss needs to be constantly replenished. If that doesn't happen, the body becomes dehydrated and the organs start to struggle to perform their essential tasks. Let's start with the brain, arguably the most important organ in the human body. Evidence shows that as temperatures rise, the brain's processing power declines. A Harvard study found that heat slows down the brain by 13%. There's an impact on mental health, too. Several studies have found a correlation between hot days and an increase in hospital visits for mood and anxiety disorders. But the heat is also hard on the heart, with the organ forced to pump harder as it tries to regulate the body's temperature. Blood vessels thin, bringing more blood to the skin to aid in the sweating process. But what this does is lower blood pressure, which means the heart needs to beat harder to circulate oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. The risk of a heart attack also rises if blood pressure drops too far. Next, we look at the lungs. Physicians say hot and humid weather can affect breathing, especially for those who already suffer from respiratory conditions, such as asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD. Scientists have also found a correlation between the increase in heat and poor air quality. The prolonged exposure to heat can also lead to chronic kidney disease. The kidney is responsible for removing extra waste and extra fluid from the body. Studies have found that dehydration leads to less oxygen supply to the organ, which in turn leads to kidney dysfunction. But the people most at risk are those who are under the hot sun, including agriculture and construction workers. The next question is, how hot is too hot for the human body to function normally? It's not just heat that's an issue, but also the humidity when both are high, that's when conditions get dangerous. Scientists have come up with a way to measure temperature and relative humidity called wet bulb temperature. Now, this is the temperature at which water stops evaporating from a wet thermometer bulb, meaning it can no longer cool because the atmosphere is fully saturated with water. The wet bulb essentially represents the human body's ability to sweat. Studies show that humans can no longer cool themselves down when the wet bulb temperature reaches 35 degrees Celsius. So what happens when the body temperature rises above what it can manage to lose? It can lead to heat exhaustion. And the symptoms include intense thirst, dizziness or fainting, a rapid weak pulse and cold, clammy skin. Experts advise those who have these symptoms to immediately hydrate and move to a cooler place, for example, indoors with air conditioning. The prolonged exposure under intense heat could also lead to a more dangerous condition called heat stroke. The symptoms are an elevated body temperature, rapid strong pulse, and the loss of consciousness. This condition can lead to death if the person is not conveyed to a medical facility. Those most at risk of heat-related illnesses are old people or those with underlying conditions such as heart disease. They are less able to cope with the strain heat places on the body. Young children are also vulnerable as they are more likely to become dehydrated because they lose fluid more quickly.